I'm back with a takedown of MG2's uh, cornrow African threaded style. It has been a month, y'all. Uh, I usually don't go this long between doing the girl's hair, but we've been sick. We've been so sick. She had a, a bad cold, a bad cough, sore throat, fever. Um, it developed into conjunctivitis in her eyes, and it was just a mess. She just wasn't in a place to have her hair done. Went through the entire family. I was even down in bed for a few days. MG2 was in bed for a few days. Anyway, don't judge me, but a month went by with her hair in that threaded style. She rinsed her hair, I mean soaking wet several times. Uh, her bun, when I braided it up and bunned it up, she got that wet every day. <laughs> Not soaking, but pretty wet. Um, so her hair is dirty and it, it doesn't smell terrible. Um, but it's been too long. So I, I'm taking this, the threaded style down. I have a clip of that. And I also um, attempted to style it real quick because we're going out and I won't be able to wash her hair until later. So I wanted to show you what I would do in a situation like this. So stay tuned, hope you enjoy. I've had her hair in a bun. And so now I will take it down. I'm doing this because I want to make sure that I don't rip any hair out on the ends. Mom. Yes, Mocha baby. I know it's time for your breakfast. I'm coming. All right, so I will take one down to see. We're going somewhere, so I won't be taking her hair completely down, but I want to take off the threaded ends so, and put, the, put it in a puff. Okay, so that came out with no problem. Trouble I'm running into right now is that the thread looks exactly the same color as her hair. Okay, no problem. There it is. You just have to see the thread, but it's not it's not in the it's not it's not tangled in her hair at all. I'll probably probably do this. See that? Just to feel more comfortable doing it like this. To me, this is faster. See that? No problem whatsoever. The 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 root where I um, wound it around twice. Let's see if that's a problem. Just have to find it. Nope. That's fine too. Okay. Came out with no problem. So I'll come back when, when they're all Alright, so I've taken her hair down. It came down very easily. And so you can as you can see, her hair is a little fuzzy. It stretched out her hair a lot. Uh, it would have been even more, much more, except you as I told you before, she she dunks her hair and lets it get soaking wet. I'm pretty sure her her bun got wet every single day. Um, but what I'm going to do to refresh this, because we're going out and I'm not going to have time to do anything to her hair. I don't want to take the front completely down because I want to keep her hair a little bit subdued for where we're going. But I'm, I wet my hand. I had this, but it has conditioner in it and her hair hates conditioner um, as a leave-in. So I'm not going to put that on her hair. This is a really soft, natural Boris Bristles brush, so I'm going to use that to kind of brush her edges. Very soft. It's extremely soft. Brush her edges down a little bit. And even, I'll even brush a little bit along the cornrows. Okay. Now a headband works really well in situations like this to kind of detract from the fuzz. Even though I don't think her hair is terribly fuzzy. Excuse me. She's got the type of hair that fuzzes in a very compact way. I mean these cornrows have been in her hair for a month now. About a month. So here's the headband. She wants to wear her hair like this but 
my girl plays hard <laughs> and she will be playing where we're going so I won't leave her hair like this um just want to add a little bit of olive oil to kind of seal in the moisture along her edges and I'm going to wet my hands with water just a little bit and run them through her loose hair just plain water because her hair is a little dry because as we haven't done anything to it in a month be careful honey you don't want to rip that up it's a library book I'm going for the shed hair. There's a little bit of shed hair hanging off the ends of her hair. I think that's, that doesn't look good. So I take a little bit of, this is a little bit of olive oil, regular olive oil that you cook with. It's not organic or anything, even though, I mean, if you want to do organic, go for it. But for her hair, the regular olive oil works well. So I'm sealing in that little bit of moisture that I put back in her hair. Just a little bit because her hair is dirty. I'm going to wash it and condition it and clarify it and everything shortly. But just need to do something for today for her to wear her hair puffed out. Okay. I think I'm going to add a little bit more water to the ends so that they can shrink up a little bit. So I haven't used any tools in her hair, just my fingers. I won't be trying to detangle her hair until it's time to condition it. But I want the ends to be nice and moist. And she's got the kind of hair that will hold a set forever. I mean, most people, you put a little bit of water and their hair shrinks right up, but it takes a little while for her hair because it likes the, the stretch state that it, it's kind of frozen in that state. Great hair for setting. Twist out, braid out. Love her hair. This is the good stuff, the good nappy stuff. Love it. Okay. Yeah, and that's it. Let's... Here's the cross. Beautiful. I don't care how many times I do this, I never get tired of it. <laughs> Look at me, MG2. Can I have a smile? <laughs> you just want to wear your hair down. You know what? When we come home, it comes down. All right? As you saw, that went really well. It, um, and I think it has a lot to do with texture, with her texture. I think wrapping the hair firmly um, so that it should be a little stiff. The first time I threaded and I did it on MG3's hair, I wound the thread a little loose and the hair was extremely flexible. Um, I think if you want it to hold well, you want it, there to be some firmness to um, how tightly you wind it around the length of the, the braid. Try not to wind it too tight around the root though because you don't want something tight and pulling that won't be good for the roots. You, you could cause breakage. Um, by doing it too tightly up here. Um, so getting it wet wasn't a problem. Um, you know, hanging it, letting it hang down didn't work really well because again, there was only one knot at the, at the, at the end. And that wasn't enough to hold with her hair rubbing up against her clothes and everything. It so came is right that down. when she got it wet, the strength of her hair puffing out kind of made the ends unwind, unwound a lot. So you know, the length of her braid would be wound with thread and then it would be like a little puff ball afro on the ends from it getting wet. So if you keep that in mind, if your daughter's hair is going to get wet, it might help to sort of kind of braid the threaded sections together and maybe even put a rubber band on the ends or wound them around in a bun or tuck them under or something like that. But I love it. I can't believe a month went by. We had no problems with takedown. So to me, 
African threading is definitely a winner. Be blessed.